Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. Today we go out on our EcoDriver loop with the Citroën EC4, which the connoisseur knows is the battery electric vehicle from Citroën. Technically it's identical to the Peugeot E208 or E2008, which we have already tested. We have a 100 kilowatt electric motor, 136 horsepower, uh, 50 kilowatt hours gross traction battery. That's, I guess it's around 46 kilowatt hours net. And the unladen weight is 1,576 kilograms or 3,467 pounds. We go out on our eco driver loop, as I've already said. And in case you haven't seen it yet, uh, here you see where we are going. We start on the southern edge or southern outskirts of Innsbruck, go out of town for about a kilometer on the 30 kilometer an hour zone. Then we have a climb which elevates us around 360 meters or 1100 feet. Some rolling hills, a descent, open road section with speeds between 30 and 100 kilometers an hour, a motorway, and at the end we have uh, city traffic. After every section we check the overall and sectoral consumption and at the end we analyze the whole trip. The cameras will be on all the time. A, to show how I am driving in order to achieve the consumption that we will eventually get. And secondly, to prove that there is no need to go extra slow in order to be efficient, even with an EV. Uh, we still have the Sahara sands around here, so uh, the view is a little bit uh, obstructed. But uh, nevertheless, I hope you enjoy the trip and I'll talk to you later. You have noticed we were blocked a little bit by this truck on the way uphill, but that's a real life test and there we have to cope with this. So at the end of the ascent, when we go around the corner, we have 32.1 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. With this car, you have not many options to use the EV functions. You have the drive mode, which is the normal mode to drive. When you lift your foot off the accelerator, it's braking and recuperating a little bit. You have the B setting, which means that uh, it brakes a bit harder. And apart from that, it's only the foot pedals you can uh, adjust the braking. There are no uh, steering wheel pedals, steering column pedals, uh, to adjust the recuperation. We are now approaching the hills. And there it's important to play with the road, to use the momentum you build up on the way down to get into the next climb, to not to maintain speed at any cost on the way up, and uh, try to minimize the use of energy. Just imagine like uh, on a roller coaster, once you're on the highest point, uh, everything goes without the use of external energy. and same principle applies here.
We're now coming to the end of the hills and we see here 23.1 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. Uh, on the way down I try to avoid the use of the foot pedal in order to uh, accelerate because it's gravity that does this job. Uh, the problem is that uh, once I lift my foot off the accelerator the the car starts regenerating so it's very difficult to find the point of coasting that means that you always either recuperate regenerate or use energy and if you regenerate you only get 40 percent back of what you've invested beforehand so um, yeah it's it's per definition it's not as efficient as when you're coasting but uh, we'll see how it goes on the two flat sections i try to find the point of no electric use or no use of electricity and we'll see how it goes that's the reason why i personally prefer cars that can or evs that can coast without any uh, recuperation once you lift your foot off the accelerator one thing to keep in mind with evs on descents or even if you're just braking is that the electric motor is only able to deliver a certain amount of energy so with 100 kilowatts here when you're braking you probably can deliver 80 85 kilowatts as a regenerative power and this means that if you brake a little bit harder you are using the friction brakes and that means you don't get enough energy back into the batteries the range is reduced consumption goes up so always keep in mind especially with cars with a with less power like this one uh, that you brake gently and look ahead and uh, read the road. At the end of the descent, we have 11.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Let me just say a word to the outside conditions. We have 9 degrees Celsius and um, the heating in the car is not on. You, you see how I'm dressed or you have seen it uh, just normally and I don't feel any cold or it, it isn't cold in the car. And uh, it's so the heating is not on and we are on winter tires as in this part of the world there's a legal requirement to use winter tires until the 15th of april we are now approaching the open road section with speeds between 30 and 100 kilometers an hour we go through some villages and towns and uh, yes now we have some faster sections in between At the end of the open road section, we have 11.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We are now approaching the motorway 
Here we have a local environmental law which re restricts the speed to 100 kilometers an hour, except for BEVs with a, with a green number plate from Austria or maybe the, the E number plate from Germany. Uh, they'd be allowed 130. However, we stick to the 100, firstly, for uh, comparison reasons because we had I have tested because I have tested EVs without the green number plate so I could go only 100 with them anyway uh, secondly for uh, economical reasons and thirdly normally it doesn't make sense to go faster on this section because there is so much traffic anyway that it that it's just pointless trying to go faster we'll see how it goes goes today but we stick to the 100 anyway We're coming off the motorway now and we see here 12.7 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. We're now approaching the city section and here it's important to keep the vehicle in motion as it requires a lot of energy to re-accelerate uh, this 1.6 tons and as we have said before you never get back what you have invested before or have to invest afterwards when you are braking. Even if you get some energy back it's never enough to compensate for that. Okay, we are coming to the end now of this uh, trip on the Eco Travel Loop with the Citroen EC4. And when we did, when we park the car in here, we see 12.0 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. And now the details. Well, uh, let's have a look at the detailed sectoral and overall consumption uh, of our trip with the Citroen EC4. You see here all the different sections with the consumption and overall of 12.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. Now let's switch to this table and here we have the 
the summary of all the electric vehicles I have tested so far, you see some blank lines. These lines contain vehicles that have not been shown yet on this channel, but I've done them for my German channel, Ecofahrer. Uh, but they will translate it and uh, put on the Ecodriver channel in due course. And this table is sorted by the weight specific consumption. That's the column on the far right. This is kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers per 100 kilograms of weight. And 0 0.766 means that the Citroen is bang on in the middle of all the cars I've tested so far. Um, it's overall, I have to say, it's a it's a solid electric vehicle with, uh, for daily use, uh, sufficient power. Uh, the only thing that uh, you keep, you have to keep in mind with moderate uh, powered electric vehicles like this, as I said in the video, when you're braking, you only have a, a limited amount of electric power to brake the vehicle. So if you tend to brake too hard all the time, and especially from higher speeds where the, where the power output of the engine is very low due to the rapidly falling um, torque of electric motors, then consumption goes up and the electric range will, will reduce dramatically. So keep in mind with uh, vehicles like this that you have to brake gently in order to make the best possible use of the electric brakes. If you want to see how to drive EVs more efficiently in general, uh, you can watch this video here. I have done uh, my five tips. And down here you find the playlist of the EVs I've done so far for this channel. And if you're generally interested in what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any new video. That's it for the Citroën. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.